I want to share with you a technique on how to protect from ransomware, particularly on servers. When ransomware strikes, uh, typically the bad guys escalate privileges, get system access, go into these Windows servers and encrypt the whole thing. And this video is a very interesting way of protecting against those attacks. I'm going to deviate slightly from the topic and you'll see why and I'm going to talk about data encryption. In particular about Guardian data encryption or GDE. So when you install GDE you have a server somewhere that I'm going to depict later but you install an agent and that agent has kernel level access and it's going to be protecting your sensitive files as well as, well as databases. And typically the way that operates is by allowing only an application user, not system, I don't care whether it's system, admin, whoever it is, no matter how much privilege they have, it's going to be just the, let's say the finance application, let's say this SAP application user, the one that can actually access this file or decrypt this, these files. Anyone else trying to do the same is going to be actually blocked. Now, you probably by now know where I'm going to. If I have Guardium Data Encryption protecting my files from anyone seeing them, in plain text by being encrypted, also the same technology can very effectively protect and gain ransomware. I'm going to be showing you a demo with all these uh, things. So basically you set up a policy, let's say that you have your GDE server in here, and you specify a policy in which you're going to say, well, only this particular user, application user, get access to this particular file. So when the malware strikes and the malware escalate privileges and try to look into these particular files and try to actually encrypt them, it's going to get access denied. Not only that, but we will see that there are going to be logs that are going to be sent to Curator notifying you about that attempt. Even though it has been blocked, you want to know when that happens. So you can create offenses and do all the other things and correlate that particular attempt with all the things that Curator can pick that and put together into a single offense that explain who got fish or how else uh, the vec what was the vector used for the ransomware to attack. Let's actually go to the demo. What we have here is a Windows server, and I'm going to run a free utility that is a simulator for ransomware. I'm going to click Check Now, and I'm going to pause the video. That This check takes a while, but notice that it has all the known malware techniques and attacks, and Loki and, and, and any others, and it's going to actually run them against the database, the database and the files, all these files are non are unprotected and we're going to see that it's going to report that this machine is actually quite vulnerable to ransomware attacks. Pausing the video until this finishes. Actually it ran and it actually is indicating all these type of attacks would have been able to compromise your system and, and understand that even new type of techniques and attacks can keep on coming. And we'll see the effectiveness of this approach because it's not looking for the signature and the way that the actual malware works. It's just anyone trying to access a file that is at the kernel level protected by the GDE agent or the Guardian Data Encryption agent. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Guardium Data Encryption Server and we have 
the policy that protects the files for encryption as well as for malware and we're going to actually enable that policy. Now that the policy has been enabled, let's actually go ahead and rerun the same simulator for malware and see what it reports back. Pause in the video until it completes. So that is quite a change. Now the malware simulator is telling you I couldn't do anything with it because everything was actually blocked and that's the agent doing that. And if we go to QReader we should have some logs and here they are. Notice that's the access denied, 558, and those are all the attempts that the malware simulator is doing, 528 here. So now that you got the uh, logs in there, you can have offenses, and this curator can again correlate this with whatever was the mechanism that allowed the malware to attack. It doesn't matter, you see me doing attacks in which I show how easily the bad guys can once they get access into a machine, they can move laterally for those servers and they can escalate privilege and get system access and, and be the owners of the machine. Not if this technique is actually there, as you can see, not even having system access will enable you to write on those files and destroy the information or that allows you to ask for ransomware.